Five right now, concerns growing that the Israel-Hamas war could widen amid intensifying border exchanges. Live pictures this morning from the Israel-Gaza border, where the U.S. is advising Israel to delay a ground invasion of Gaza to allow for more time for hostage negotiations and humanitarian aid, including from right here in Charlotte. The local synagogue getting ready to send over thousands of dollars in supply. Wake Up Charlotte's Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. Good morning, Ben. The White House is advising Israel to delay a ground invasion of Gaza to allow for more time for hostage negotiations and humanitarian aid. However, officials stress that the U.S. is not dictating military operations for Israel. As the war in Israel rages on, a small sign of relief. Two more hostages released by Hamas. Still, it's believed more than 200 remain captive. President Biden was asked whether he'd support a ceasefire to get them out. We should have them hostage released and then we can talk. The White House says 10 Americans are unaccounted for. Officials are working around the clock to locate them. To find out where these folks are and to try to make this, uh, the, the effort to, to get them out and get them back. The U.S. is boosting its military presence in the region to include sending more air defenses and troops. To ensure that we're postured appropriately, both in terms of being able to defend our forces and respond decisively as needed. There are concerns the violence could escalate into a wider conflict. The Biden administration says it's taking steps to prevent that from happening. Supporting Israel, the defense of its people. Helping secure the release of the hostages held by Hamas addressing the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The U.S. is also urging Israel to delay its ground invasion to allow for more time for hostage talks and humanitarian aid. The situation growing even more dire each day. Sadly, the longer this war goes, the deeper the humanitarian needs are going to be, and we will need more funding for sure. Today, the U.N. Security Council meets in New York to discuss the ongoing situation in the Middle East. And today, members of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs will receive a classified briefing focusing on Iran and its support of terror groups like Hamas. There's been bipartisan pressure for the Biden administration to toughen their Iran posture since the war in Israel began. In Washington, Bree Jackson, Wake Up Charlotte.